In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new SharePoint site. I'm going to go to the app launcher and choose the SharePoint tile. And from this page, I'm going to choose the create site button. So the first thing you're going to see when you choose create site is two options. We've got team site and communication site. So I'm going to show you both of these and each of them are used for different situations. First of all, let's choose a team site. So what you see now is it's asking you for a site name. Now this is a team site that's specifically for team communication and sharing and it's attached to an Office 365 group. So I'm going to call my team site my team. And you can see it immediately gives the email address to the group, my team, and also gives a site address. So this is the URL of the site and you can see it's my team. Then you can add a site description. And further down here, you've also got privacy settings. So you've got two settings here. One's public, one's private. Public means that anybody in your organization can join without authorization. And private means that anyone in your organization can ask to join, but an owner has to approve it. So I'm going to leave this one private because it's just going to be for my team. And then hit next. You can, at this stage, add additional owners and members. So I can come here and add someone as an owner and also a new member. And you can add as many as you like. So it goes away and creates the site. I hit finish, adds the users and it takes me to my site. And here I end up on the site and you can see I've got some default entries for news and activity. And I can change those. And you've also got the default libraries and lists on the left hand side. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like to create a communication site. If I hit the create button from the SharePoint page and choose communication site, you can see the first question we're asked is to choose a design and there's topic, showcase and blank. And whichever one you choose, you see a sample below of what it's going to look like. So topic, showcase and blank. For this video, I'm just going to choose showcase and I'm going to choose new product as my site address. And it's chosen the address for me and I can give it a description and then hit finish. So once it's finished, you can see the communication site is very different from the team site. It's very visual. It has a layout that it has images and text and an image gallery at the bottom there. In this video, I showed you how to create a team site and a communication site. Thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, please share them with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting new ones every week.